Hi, welcome to the part 73 of this playlist. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so. Uh, people have cleared their certification using these contents. Let's look at this question now. So you have these three boxes. These are the VPCs. These VPCs are in different regions, different AWS regions. Like one region may be uh, in uh, East US, one region may be uh, London, and another may be India. And you want to manage network connectivity between these boxes. These boxes are VPCs. You want to manage the network connectivity. Direct connect is wrong. Why? Is it wrong? It is because um, you know what? It is not guaranteed that direct connect will always be useful. Direct connect is for rich people, rich customers. It is not for moderate customers. So the moment you have a service which can be used by rich people, then it, that cannot be an answer here because you have to give something which is common okay now if you talk about the vpc endpoints so vpc endpoints is also wrong it works very well if um, you you know what if you are looking to privately connect to AWS services okay so what if uh, you don't want private connection you want it to be accessed through the internet so so what that is why D is wrong because it will only allow private connections and you you know you are just like a leader of a country you have to think about people who want to stay private you also have to think about people who want to stay public like uh, uh, internet influencers they would change their clothes also in front of camera they are so public and then there are uh, some people who are very introverts and they do not like being exposed to even one damn human being so they want privacy for example uh, like tatas you you will not see a tata making a tiktok or a reel and showing off their wealth you would not see that okay so if you talk about site to site vpn this option C so it is useful if you want to communicate from your remote network to your VPCs and it is used to create a secured connection between your on-premises data centers and AWS but here there is no data center or no on-premises data center in scope you only have to connect vpcs all three boxes are vpcs in different regions so we are left with one option so this guy here this guy is a genius you know what it will work with vpcs exactly what our question is looking for it you need to talk with different boxes it will work man Plus, it will work with your AWS accounts, on-premises networks, everything. This is a diagrammatic representation. So, B would be my answer. Transit. Uh, if you see the name, what does transit mean? It will allow you. Like you transit from this point to this point this point to this point 
Delhi to Dubai, Dubai to New York. Okay, that's you want to move there, so you, you need a transit visa. Sorry, man, transit gateway. So, transit gateway is like your transit visa. In this question, now I move to the next one. Okay, you want to create visual reports the moment i see the word visual i think about this picture and this picture if you want to create in aws quick site this is the service it it is a business intelligence tool just like uh can you tell me one or two business intelligence tools like tableau like micro strategy like cognos like um what else man like google looker like power bi so these are all bi products so quick site is aws or amazon's bi product is it a good product compared to other leading products like tableau and so on no man, it is not a good product. Would you recommend people to use QuickSight over Tableau? Uh, as of April 2023, no, we would not recommend it. There are so many things which are not good in QuickSight. So this would be my answer, but I'm pretty sure netizens might ask why not Athena see Athena you can fire SQL queries on the database it is not meant for visualization it is meant for analysis when you talk about analysis that does not mean analysis means you fire SQLs you get some data sets you fire more SQL, you go three, four levels deep, but you would never create an awesome picture like BI tools create. So Athena is not a fit in this context because the question clearly says, give me visual reports. There is nothing visual about Athena. Have you tried? Um, donating your sperm anytime so if you do that you would find that you know they would give you uh, some visual stuff like uh, they would plug some cds with some x-rated movies so that you get in that mood okay one of my friend did that and uh, that is how it happened for him okay and so if if they are given uh, text scriptures to read and then visualize in their brains and then get aroused it may not happen but if there are visual cues or visual uh, photographs videos things move faster that's the same thing that works in the data world you give them visuals people understand faster you give them text and explaining a story you know what this data is this this people would get bored and you may not reach the point where you want to reach that is the climax point you may not reach it in with your industry but cloud watch cloud watch is like your eyes it is for watching it is not to display visuals it is to monitor cloud watch is to monitor it will watch it will watch if did you exceed the cpu utilization it will watch those metrics what will it watch it will watch metrics okay like you know in your apartment complex if there is a water tank the guy who kick starts the motor he just keeps an eye of like what is the point till which this uh, 
the pump needs to be switched off at which point that's why it keeps monitoring so cloud watch is similar to that and organizations is is just to organize organize what organize accounts like uh, then in aws you have accounts and under accounts you have resources and so on so finance department may have their own account hr department may have their own account it department may have their own account they are not sharing accounts because that is why they don't share accounts because uh, the management gets clear picture hey you know what uh, the cloud usage of finance department is pretty high okay and then it needs to be charged to the finance team so that's why accounts are useful and if you have so many accounts then uh, organizations will help you manage it it will not give visual reports so this is my answer now here the next question is about which service should be used to monitor ec2 instances for cpu and network utilization um, like i was explaining in my previous uh, question see you want to monitor you want some eyes to monitor that means you need cloudwatch cloudwatch monitors it constantly monitors but against what against metrics metrics like what like cpu network utilization some of the metrics hmm. now a inspector inspector is to catch thieves to catch bad players if somebody is trying to hack or some unintended access that is inspector it is a security solution here you need monitoring solution see whenever you try to answer you should remember try to categorize the service like inspector is a security solution here in this question it is clear you need a monitoring solution so inspector is wrong config is wrong because config is a automated configuration solution it is not a it is not a monitoring solution it is a solution which will help you with faster deployments and audit so configuration config is an audit solution audit means you suppose you have an ec2 instance and you configured it okay and 10 days down the line you see hey you know what my jobs are failing the jobs that run on ec2 it, they are failing and you go and check you know what the cpu limits are so less but i had given used a bigger instance what happened so you can go through the config and see who changed the configuration of ec2 instance and then you can understand why did it change you can ask them hey buddy why did you change shouldn't you have informed me because i am the president of india you should have checked with me taken my approval now see i am suffering my jobs are not running okay so configuration is a audit solution it is not a monitoring solution and cloud trail is a log solution cloud trail log means see there are so many systems suppose you have ec2 instances okay there are so many ec2 instances you have okay you you, you deploy agents on each one of them they will constantly keep sending logs these logs you put it in cloud trail for further analysis the analysis you can do using lastly search also and other tools but cloud trail is a logging solution so cloud watch is my final answer now let us look at the next question here see you are a startup suppose okay now you say what 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 are you going to sell suppose you have a store online store you don't have physical store physical you have warehouse only the store is online like amazon.com there is no offline store you cannot physically go into amazon stores there is there are online stores amazon.com you go there okay so you are setting that up and uh, you will receive high traffic because there is an event coming up so whenever amazon they have so many events suppose there is a event for christmas so there will be high traffic because there would be sales sales attract lot of customers there would be high traffic so your 
application is running on AWS and you are already using enterprise support plan. Now you are saying which AWS resource will provide guidance about how company should scale its architecture. You want to understand. You want to scale up its architecture. So will you use abuse team? See abuse team is for abuses. If you think that somebody is you know purposely trying to hack, get in somewhere you know about them etc. So that is some abuse is happening. So then you can contact the abuse team. Okay. Uh, uh, what can be another abuse uh, like using AWS to host porn sites. Okay. That can also be one form of abuse. See option B technical account manager. You will see this guy. This guy is a guy you can contact if you have problems. Okay. If you are talking about architecture etc that is planning support that is what you need for business critical events that is what you want right. So you can pause this read it carefully. And then option D. This will help you see these guys they will help you with your dream like if you want to get a good business outcome if you want to work with partner network people also but not uh, architecture and operational support so this would be my final answer in this next question you want to use infrastructure as code principles Whenever you think about infrastructure of the code, the services cloud formation. We, what is infrastructure as a code? See, if I want to create three EC2 instance, I will create it manually. But I also have an option to write a code and just compile the code and it will get created. This can be done using cloud formation service. See, Terraform was also such service or is also such service which will help you create such codes okay now if you look at config so config i explained it is an audit solution so suppose you have an rds database you were using it now suddenly something changed and you find something suspicious so you are now going to check in config who changed the configuration and why and so on so you can contact that person also after that so config will tell you when it changed why it's changed and so on and then you see code commit you know github right so code commit is your github but inside aws environment you can host codes you can share open source codes and so on just because we are talking about infrastructure as a code it does not mean it will go in code commit code commit is just a repository where code can exist open source code so like github and systems manager this is used to manage resources both on prem and aws it is of no use in this case it is not linked with infrastructure as a code so this would be my final answer so the video became long we covered some more questions if you have not yet subscribed do so and you know join the bandwagon of people who have cleared certifications so this channel has playlists on various aws certifications azure certifications google cloud certifications snowflake certifications okay this is the youtube handle of this channel you can look for playlist videos and so on you can become a cloud kernel member gain access to important questions for certifications the link is in the description this brings us to the end of part 73 stay tuned for many more such parts